Hi guys, um, welcome to another talk uh, on my channel. Today I wanted to talk about using your belt correctly when you're lifting heavy weights uh, and how to brace effectively. So, first of all, the reason we brace uh, for heavy lifts is to increase the amount of intra abdominal pressure inside our, our abdomen. And what that does is the amount of pressure that we produce here is to really help create stability for the spine, okay? So we look, we're talking about predominantly the, the lumbar spine uh, that's like not got any protection from, from any of the, uh, the ribs that are much higher. Um, and so there's a lot of movement that we can have down there. And when we're lifting big weights and we're walking out big squats or yeah, especially for strong men, uh, if they're moving around with awkward objects, it's really important that they keep a, a level of rigidity um, in their lumbar spine when they're moving around heavy objects. And so how we do that is to simply, watch this, breathe into our stomachs effectively. Um, and you, you don't really want to come up here with the rib cage because what that's going to do is that's actually going to extend um, the abdominal wall. So you don't want to be crunched over but you also don't want to be like hyperextended. You want to be somewhere like in between and you want to be breathing in to your core and that helps expand everything. And that's where a belt comes into play. So a belt is going to give you something to push against and that means that basically the, the muscles that are responsible, so your diaphragm and your abdominal wall for producing tension against each other, um, and you're producing that valsalva maneuver, pushing air up against the closed epiglottis, is going to enhance the amount of muscular force you can produce in your torso. And so by having more muscular force there, it's going to create more stability so that you can get a hell of a lot more drive and power from the hips and legs. And so the belt is super important for making sure that we can create rigidity um, and also teach it to beginners um, because you'll see a lot of like top end uh, advanced lifters, they will be break, they'll be doing their compound lifts deliberately without a belt in a, in a bid to try and strengthen their core. Um, I wouldn't recommend that for a beginner. As a, a more advanced level lifter, I wouldn't necessarily program it myself as I can't really say that I've, I've seen a huge benefit, but I'm also not as strong as those guys, so they probably know something that I don't. Um, so this is what you want. This is about four inches wide, and you're looking usually for powerlifting somewhere between a 10 and a 13 mil thick belt. And you're just gonna place this around the small of your back, okay? You can dig it in there, and then wrap it up, and just tighten it up. Now, one, so the first thing that really, really bothers me is when people do it too tight. And when they do it too tight, okay, it digs in underneath the ribs. And that doesn't give us any space to actually effectively push out um, with, with enough uh, expansion so that we can create stability. Like it actually restricts you from being able to do that job. So. You don't want to go too loose, you don't want to have not nothing to push against, but you want to have enough, enough and a good way to test it is to kind of like get maybe two fingers under the belt and then when you push against it, it should be pretty difficult uh, to take that hand away. And so it should be just enough space for you to watch this, still push out, okay? So you're effectively just optimizing the amount of belt tension that you have so that you can still get that outward pressure um, and so that you can create stability for the spine. So that's how you use a belt effectively. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions, make sure you comment in the comment section. And if you haven't already, follow my page, uh, hit the like button, um, and that's it. Thank you.